Welcome to the VMS Sportscast. Uh, I'm here with the Player of the Week for Week Nine, Joseph Vela, Rio Hondo quarterback. Uh, Joseph had almost 200 yards total offense against Port Isabel, Rio Hondo's big win last week. Uh, first off, congrats, Joseph. Uh, talk to me about first off. I mean, playing PI, it's a big game for you guys. Uh, how bad did you really want to play well in this game? I don't know, man. I've been wanting to play PI as starting quarterback since I was watching my brother six years ago and stuff. So this game right here, I knew it's going to determine the more so the district champion or whatever. And uh, I knew it was going to be a huge game. Talk about the atmosphere in a game like that. I mean, you know, some some players never get to, to, to play in games like that. That big, that many people there, people standing all around the, the bleachers and stuff. Well, I mean, what's it like to play in a big game like that? Uh, I mean, it's loud. Before a game, after certain calls and certain plays, it gets loud in there. But when the play's going on, for me, it's just, you don't, I don't, I just don't know. I don't even pay attention to the crowd. But I mean, to just know that that many people are there supporting me, watching the team, watching the game, it's awesome. You guys got up to a fast start against PI. You know, the defense got a, a good stop. Then you guys just drove the ball down, scored. Then you guys took another another touchdown. To, you know, it was 14-0, and then it was 17 at the half. Uh, was that fast start, you know, important for you guys to, to beat PI? Uh, yeah. Uh, anytime you can get up quick on a team like that, I mean, they, they're demoralizing. They're going to shut down pretty quick. And we took advantage of their mistakes. Then you go after halftime, you know, the, you saw the momentum sort of kind of shift their way when the, they, they cut it close and then they were <coughs> driving again. Uh, but then you guys on offense, you were able to make the plays when you had to. Uh, I mean, how big was that for you guys to, to make those big plays when you needed them the most? Uh, that just, to me, it just shows how how clutch we could be and how how good that our offense is coming down to, when, to the wire and actually make the plays that we need to make. And uh, we came out kind of slow in that third quarter, but I mean, we knew we had to make those plays and worked out. Talk about that touchdown pass to Isaiah. Uh, it seemed, you know, you rolled out to your left, and it just seemed, you know, once you got the ball over the, the safety there, it just, seemed, just fell right in his hands. But uh, so go through that play, you know, I mean, was that improvised or what happened there? No, uh, he, we, everyone ran their route. It was to the, sh the short side of the field, one of the left hash, and we, I rolled out. And I saw him quick, and I wanted to hit him now, but there was a guy on my face, so I had to make that move, get around him, and then I just, I mean, got to let him make plays, and got right over the safety's head, and fell right, he was waiting for it right there in the back end. And then, to top it off, or really the, the dagger in the heart at the end was that 36-yard touchdown run you had. It just seemed like you ran up the gut, and you know, it, it, it almost looked like nobody touched you for a while. Uh, you know, what happened on that play? Oh, man, when co the coach asked if we want to run the play, and I mean, of course, lines up front. There, those guys are ready to run every every play they can get. So I, I trust that call, and I knew my boys were gonna block for me. So they executed everything well, and I just had to make a couple guys miss. That, that's my part. They did their part, holding onto the blocks and everything. So look, that was a great play. When I talked to you after the game, you said, you know, I mean, this is a big game. This is a big win for us, but you only got a share of that trophy. Now you want to get it all. So I mean, but definitely this win was a big confidence boost for you. Oh yeah. You know, since those PI and they're a good team and stuff, but um, I mean we want to we want to be left there to be outright, but yeah we, we need to win this next game to be outright champs. All right, Joseph, thanks a lot. Uh, that's the player of the week for week nine of the Valley Morning Star, Joseph Vela. Uh, tune in next week where we'll have our final player of the week for week ten.